In this video, we will see how to calculate a per cell statistics from multiple rasters. That is, to calculate the cell statistics. For example, here I am having NDVI for 12 months of an area. And if we want to generate a raster with mean NDVI values of 12 months in each pixel. Or if you want to have a raster having in each pixel the maximum or minimum NDVI value out of the 12 images. So first we will learn it in ArcGIS and further videos you will see how to do it in SagaGIS and QGIS. So link of those two videos are also given in the description. So see this is January month NDVI. Similarly this is for February and this is for December. So now you want to generate a raster which is having in each pixel the mean of all these 12 months NDVI. So go to Arc Toolbox then a Special Analyst Tools then local and cell statistics. Double click there and get all these rasters in input. Just select all and then drag it here. And then you can define the output raster. Like if you want to have mean, so like you can save it as mean dot tiff. And then here you have to define the, the statistics you want to calculate. Like by default it is mean. There are other statistics like maximum, minimum, median, then range, standard deviation, sum, and there are majority and minority and then variety. What these all terms mean is listed here in the see, help help window. So just you have to click here so help and you will find. See majority is the value that occurs most often in all the 12 images I have given. Then variety is the unique values in all the input rasters. So if you want to calculate the mean you have to just select the mean here and then click OK. And you will find the mean NDVI of 12 months in each pixel. So similarly we can also calculate like if you want to calculate all the sum of all the 12 month. So here you have to select the sum and you can save it as sum dot diff and click OK. So this is the sum. You can see the values 0.2 to 6.7. So this is how we can calculate the cell statistics in RGS. In the next videos, we will see how to calculate it in QGIS and Saga GS. In Saga GS, in two steps, you can calculate all these statistics. So thank you for watching.